Casey Anthony thinks that you want to binge watch her. That's at least her proposal to TV execs. Casey Anthony, the top mom, you remember her 2011 acquittal for the murder of her darling two-year-old daughter, Kaylee. It's not a show yet. It's just in their proposal stage right now. But networks are looking at it. I want to bring in News Nation national correspondent, Caitlin Becker. Okay, one of the headlines I saw that said it was um, a controversial woman. She was not found innocent. She was acquitted. So where is the controversy? It's not this or that. She was acquitted, not guilty, not innocent. So she's a controversial figure? I mean, she'll always be a controversial yeah. figure, of course. I mean, there is such a large section of people who, like OJ, think that she did murder her daughter. And so therefore, she will always be somewhat controversial. And I think the issue here is you have this being proposed to television shows. We can go into what the proposal is a little bit. But she's already had her moment telling her side of the story and what it was like for her and really diving into the criminal trial. That was a special on Peacock. This is basically live, laugh, love, the Casey Anthony story. And I don't know who in the world would want to watch that. Well, and well, I'm sure we could find someone. But my question is, she's going to be an executive producer on the show. She's controlling the narrative. So are we going to see like a 37-year-old woman swiping on Tinder or I don't know, whatever, whatever the dating sites are. I'm not, I'm not dating. But is that, is that what we're... It certainly sounds like we want to see how she lives her life and what it's like to be a single woman now. And I her opinions on things. I don't know who would want her opinion on things. But like you said, there are probably people who would want to watch it. But there was a network executive who okay. spoke to the New York Post anonymously. And here's what they said. It would get a large audience initially. But what's really that interesting about her life. Plus, the backlash would be huge, not worth it. I hope someone else has the blank to buy it because I definitely want to watch. And the backlash for whatever network may pick this up, if one does, is really what this comes down to. Because we know that she was acquitted. Mm -hmm. There's a group of people, a large group of people that think she did it. There's probably a much smaller group of people that think she didn't. It doesn't matter. What it boils down to is the fact that the reason you know Casey Anthony's name and I know Casey Anthony's name is because her two-year-old daughter was found dead in a trash bag. So to parlay that fame into a reality series about your life is not a good look for a network, no matter how you feel about what she did or did not do. Okay, not a good look. And, and our, our executive producer just mentioned that, that Peacock did get flack. But if you, you mentioned the, the ratings, and I remember we were glued to it. So could you say the good outweighs the bad? You know, what is in it for these networks if they do? Because the, the backlash seems like it's going to be there. What, what is the plot twist? What is her selling point? What is in it for them? I don't think there is one, and that's probably why there isn't a bite on this yet. The fact that she had this Peacock series that had debuted, I think it was 2022, and she already has this relationship with that network, and they would probably be her first group that they, she would go to and doesn't seem like they've picked it up or anyone else picks it up. It seems very toxic. And it also doesn't seem like what she's going to do is talk about anything from the past. She had that moment. It was the Peacock series. It seems like she wants to distance herself from the crime. I don't know how, as a parent, you can ever distance yourself from the fact that your toddler has died. So if she's not going to touch on that, you're going to get people who are going to come in in droves for the first two episodes, and then they're going to abandon a sinking ship. So I don't see an upshot for a network. And before I let you go, it, and I could be wrong, I didn't see anything obviously mention her family, you know, the family drama. It's not like we're talking about a Kardashians episode where we talk about the father and the mom. What I did see is that you were going to you were going to be introduced to people who were going to give you, you've never met before, like friends and, and supporters of her. It kind of sounds a little bit narcissistic, if you will. I mean, at the heart of every kind of reality show, it's a little bit narcissistic. True. But certainly in this case, she doesn't have a relationship with her family because she has accused her father of not right. only sexually assaulting her, but of having a hand in Kaylee's murder. So they're certainly not going to be involved. And I don't know why anyone would give a hoot about the people in Casey Anthony's life. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm tuning in, but I might be hate watching if somebody picks it up. the first two episodes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Keelan. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.